All right, steep turns. So we're in straight level unaccelerated flight, hopefully really nicely trimmed out so I could fly hands-free. We would do our Craig's pre-maneuver checklist. That's clearing turns, make a radio call, make sure we're at sufficient altitude, do a gumps check, make sure we have a safe place to land. Okay, we've done all of that. We bug our heading indicator. We pick a, a something on the horizon as a reference. Now we're ready to begin uh, the steep turn. So we're gonna bank into, uh, into, let's say a left turn first. As I'm coming through about 20 degrees of bank, I give it two swipes of nose up trim on a Cessna 172. You don't have to use trim, I like to use trim. And then I'm gonna increase some power uh, so I maintain my, my airspeed I started with. We hold the bank angle at 45 degrees for private, 50 degrees for commercial. Um, and then we're looking outside. We're making sure that our nose, where the horizon slices through our nose, is staying in the same point as the nose falls. We introduce more back pressure. As the nose rises, we release some of that back pressure. At some point in the turn, even with trim, we're gonna probably need to introduce some back pressure. If you're finding yourself losing a lot of altitude, you might actually have to release some of the bank and get that altitude back, release some of the horizontal lift that you have, trade it for vertical lift, get a little bit of that altitude back and then rebank the plane. So we continue coming around, I'm looking outside, I see that, uh, that thing that I identified on the horizon starting to come back into focus. One half the bank angle, so I'm, if I'm at 45 degrees at about 20 or 25 degrees before the object, before the heading indicator, I start to roll out the bank so that I can roll wings level at my object. I roll wings level and I'm gonna push <clears throat> the controls forward at this point because I have this trim in, I don't want the airplane to balloon. So I push forward and I start banking to the right. I'm coming up to the attitude indicator. I'm getting a 45 degree bank and then I hold it at that 45 degree bank. Again, we may have, we probably will have overbanking tendencies. So I need, might need a little bit of left to aileron. Again, I'm recognizing that the sight picture to the right is gonna be different. The horizon is gonna be slicing through the nose at a different point on the plane. I'm watching that and I'm just rotating around. I'm, I'm, I'm rotating around the turn, watching where the horizon slices through the nose. Again, as that starts to fall, I'm introducing back pressure. As I start to rise through the horizon, I'm reducing that back pressure. Again, as I come back to the point at which I started the maneuver, I'm looking at my heading indicator, referencing it. At one half the bank angle, I start to roll out of the turn, roll wings level, push again down. I'm resisting the balloon. Retrim the airplane, two swipes down if I added it, pull back the power I added, resume straight level unaccelerated flight, and then do a cruise checklist. That's steep turns.